This is Captain Abgar from the Atlantis Starfleet Command. We request to land on the starport. Ambassador Altes is with us on the flight. We request immediate response. Command out. Welcome to Lumeria. Greeting, Captain Avgar and Ambassador Altes. Your request is granted. You may proceed to the starport. Have a safe landing. A warm welcome to Lumeria. Greeting. Captain Edgar and Ambassador Altes. I am Priestess Lumina. It is my highest honor to receive your arrival. I will lead you to the resting chamber. Please follow me. Altos thank you for your warm reception. It is my honor that we meet again, Priestess Lumina. This is the time for our reunion since the long departure. Let the way. And we will have much to discuss. Ambassador Alves, your honor. What bring you here on Lumeria? We were expecting some great news on the issue of the undeveloped sectors around the globe. Did the Atlantians come to an conclusion to allow them to develop their cultures alone? We like to hear the Atlantians' perspective on this regard. Priestess Lumina, with due respect my lady. The Atlantians believe in power and domination. In order to subdue all the lesser developed sectors, we have to use force. And with force, no one will dare to challenge the authority of the Atlantis Empire. And this was our final conclusion to this rebellion issue. Our first plan to destroy the Maria has taken its course. <laughs> Next we will make Atlantis to fight against Atlantis. And we shall destroy the human civilization. Initialize our next plan for this total domination. <laughs>
My lord, our forces are ready to infiltrate the Atlantean civilization, but the Galactic Federation of Light is preventing our move. Do we launch an immediate attack on their outposts, or should we attack and destroy the Atlantis immediately? Lord Cobra, attacking their outposts is not a wise move, and it is a risk to trigger another galactic war. We should infiltrate the Atlantean civilization first, by offering them power and technology, and slowly we will take over the control of planet Europe. Beloved Atlanteans, We're the feline, your parent race. We're here to guide and war on you. Do not fall for the traps of the dark offering you power and technologies. You are walking the path of destruction and suffering. Ancestors crossed the great void untold millennia ago. Pilgrims from a dying world long since lost. From tumultuous beginnings, their struggle, courage and fortitude gave birth to our civilization. For many centuries our people prospered, peace ruled our planet, and our understanding of the world around us grew. Our scientists have long speculated that ours was not the only tribe to make this journey and establish a new home on another world. But their searching has been met again and again with silence. Until now. The transmission was weak and incomplete, but in a language not unlike our own. Our anticipation grew. What culture and knowledge had our brothers developed during the long centuries of our separation? A starship was prepared. Ambassadors recruited. But gradually, the meaning of the message became clear. It was a desperate call for help. Galvanized by the revelation that we are not alone, our fleet has been equipped. And we are ready to answer the call of our brethren. What shall we find as we set our course beyond the stars? will reduce the DNA of the remaining humans. They will dig for gold and other resources for us and stay obedience and safe for our control and domination. And they will never know who they were originally. We'll use the human as a protection for our total control here on Earth. This will prevent the light forces from intervening. Carry out the order. 
Your wishes are command Lord Zetron. I am commander at Ultram, always at your service. We will deploy our agents in the high positions among the politician, the rich and the famous. And we will create religion, diseases, wars and poverty to dump down the human race and trap them in the psycho of life and death. Mother, can you tell me why there are so many pyramids built around the world? And why there are sentinel lion, bird and dog beings depicted on the wall painting? And, who created the human race? And why there are so many giant human skeletons found around the world? Are we alone in the whole universe? I have so many questions, Mother. My young Ishtar, let me explain to you. We are the remnants of the ancient Atlantis culture. The pyramids were built around the world to preserve the secrets of our Atlantis culture. We know that in future these secrets will be discovered by the human. And they will know their truth origin and ancestor. The human will be awakened and start to seek answers and they will be freed from the grasp of the dark forces. My lord, we are detecting a plane alien ship entering the Earth's atmosphere. Do we intercept it or do we destroy it? Your order is our command, my lord. Destroy the Pleiadian ship immediately. Have no mercy and leave no survival. Execute my order now. Beloved humans, I am Feline Dana. Your promised awakening is in great progress. Your life in the third dimensional world is coming to its completion. Welcome home to the stars. Okay. Let me be honest with you. We're not alone in the universe. We had been in contact with the star beings for almost a century. And the cover-up is no longer feasible because many already know. And it is the right time for full disclosure. Are you ready? The truth will set you free. Wow! This guy Piper on is crazy. But what he did is very near to the truth. The history of humanity have been changed and suppressed. Now is the time for the full disclosure of this whole deception. And wake up to the control and domination of the invisible dark forces. Be serious, you were being told all these along, but you refuse to believe all these are real. There is nothing we can do to make you believe. And one more important thing, look at my face, don't look at my boot. Aha! This star races is a real deal. I personally endorse this disclosure of the truth history of humanity. Don't doubt it cause the time has come to set us free from this nomination. Spread far and wide, and let everyone knows it. There's no time to waste now. Get your butt moving. Don't listen to all these shits, they are just trying to mislead you. Listen to me people, we have the solutions to all the earth problems. You just have to give us your soul and be our slave forever. You should be smart enough to decide for yourself. Listen, we just trying to make this world better for everyone. 
but not everyone will agree. So, we have to use force to suppress them for the sake of humanity. If it doesn't work by words, then it has to be solved by force. Don't you agree? We're doing everything for you and your family. You see? They are very good at disguising themselves as the good guys, trying every ways to convince you they work for your benefits. In fact, they want to slave you and give your power to them. Do you see the devious plots now? It is time to wake up, humans. Hello there, I'm Sherlock Holmes. I had been investigating this deception since the beginning, and came to my conclusion that this is real. We had been suppressed and controlled in many ways, and, there are so many people suffering around the world. Open your eyes and let the truth set you free. Now, it doesn't need a genius like me to know this whole truth. Just analyze the way you human live your life, paying bills and working hard for the whole entire life. In the end, spending all your saving for the high medical expenses. Is this the right way to live a normal life? And, do you want your children to do the same? Use your brain. Use your brain. Please use your brain. Oh god, I thought I was crazy enough to make the Star Wars movies. This guy goes beyond the boundary and I salute him for his bravery to think that we are alone in the universe. One has to be arrogance and ignorance. The wall paintings that were left behind by the ancient had the best evidence. And the pyramid structures everywhere on earth prove that we are not alone. It is time for the humans to wake up. Oops. Master Yoda. I felt a great disturbance in the force. Is there something big going to happen soon? Do you have any messages from the higher realms? Master Yoda, can you give us any updates? Patient my apprentice patient there will be a new life force emerging on Earth so there will be great changes in the coming times. And we will see a mass awakening in the near future. Keep the faith, my apprentice. Keep the faith on that it shall be. May the force be with you. Houston. Houston. Do you copy? We have a new discovery. We received a radio signal. And we are departing the Apollo 22 to investigate. Do we have the green ahead? We have a vision. Repeat. We have a vision. This is Houston. Apollo 22, bring up the vision. I repeat. Bring up the vision. <laughs> <laughs>